Yeah. Um, you know, I think I got to give our players a lot of credit. We essentially played seven players uh, the 40 minutes and we had our starters played heavy minutes. We had a bunch of people dinged up and we just weren't going to play them today to save them for um, our first game. Uh, give Northwood a lot of credit. They are very well coached. They have really good players. Um, they won a bunch of games last year and they can flat out shoot it. And uh, some of their uh, uniqueness uh, gave us troubles and then we adjusted and we we did what we had to do. I know you tell me not to look too much into D3, D2, exhibition, regular season. How important is it for your team to play against other players in a different scheme as opposed to just practice? Oh, no, it's huge. This is a really, Northwood is a really good team. And, um, you know, I was, I'm really proud of our team's ability to handle the adversity, um, stay the course, if you will, and make the adjustments that we needed to make. Um, you know, I think a lot of the, our miscues today were um, very correctable. Things that in the next three days, I feel that we can um, address, fix, and get us ready for Lindenwood. You, Coach, you had four off, or you had, you had four players score over double digits in points. What does, what does that kind of show you as, as far as your offense goes and being able to score the basketball? Yeah, we scored, we scored 92 points. Um, we almost had five people in double figures because Elena had nine. Um, I think that's part of the change for our offense this year um, in terms of the ball movement, player movement, uh, we want a more balanced um, way of attacking the opponents. Um, you know, we had 17 assists. That's no small deal, right? That's that's when you're sharing the ball and you're moving the ball like that, you're hard to guard. And then, you know, uh, Ozzy and, and our bigs, I thought, did a really good job of um, making it hard on Northwood and making making them guard us. And because some of that, they had to make some adjustments and – um, that's where we need to be good and make those counter adjustments. Since we mentioned Ozzy and our bigs, I know that we have Tyra coming in as well. How do you feel about having that duel where, you know, Ozzy brings the aggression and Tyra kind of brings the like slowing down of the game, finding <laughs> a look and kind of saying. Yeah, Tyra's a, a little bit of an old soul uh, basketball wise. Um, she got some really good looks. I thought she missed some, just some bunnies, right? Or else I think she's probably a double figure player for us too. Uh, her size, her athleticism, um, you know, and this is her first time out on the court with us too. So um, she didn't play a great deal last year. Uh, now she's making that adjustment where, you know, hey, they, they're they putting me in there and they expect me to produce. And, uh, you know, there, there's an adjustment period there you know, just to that, to a new team, a new style of defense, a new style of offense, that stuff just doesn't happen overnight. You know, Lachelle played a bunch of minutes last year. Lachelle knows what we do and how we do it. And you see the byproduct of that, you know, she, she had a big night and, uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm impre incredibly happy for her because she has worked so hard this off season. Anything else? Sorry. Coach Quick Scott report on Lindenwood and uh, just getting ready for the regular season on Monday. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut it now because, to be honest with you, I haven't looked at Lindenwood at all. Tonight, Lindenwood starts. <laughs> Perfect. How excited are you for the regular season? And, and um, what's your message to, to people who are deciding if they want to come out on Monday? Yeah, people like offense, right? So 92 points, uh, five people almost in double figures. Um, we've traditionally been a really good defensive team. We're going to get there. I think uh, you're going to like what you see in terms of the product on the floor. Uh, but the fans being out here matters. Like the home court advantage, hearing our players, hearing the fans support them and give the other team a hard time, that's huge. And, uh, you know, that's something that this – non-conference slate with seven home games. Uh, we want to make sure by the time we get to that seventh home game, our crowd looks a certain way. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to see that happen.